Yo, what's going on, dudes? Uh, yeah, I completely forgot this was here today. I, I didn't even. I just, I went on YouTube. And I was like, Capcom showcase? What the fuck? I, I knew it yesterday. I completely forgot about it today. I was like, yeah, let's let's, let's fucking watch this shit. Ho hopefully some um. Wait. Hopefully some RE4 remake gameplay maybe. <clears throat> and stuff. So we got like one minute left. Hopefully, hopefully. Capitagine! Some McDonald's. Stuffed. Ah, oh, okay. We got a minute left, boys. We got a minute left. What's this? Some uh, Darkstalkers tournament? Ah, Morrigan. You know, instead of Eliza, I feel like they should have put Morrigan in the game as a DLC or something. Morrigan would have been fun. Eliza is like a basic Tekken 7 or basic 2D character. Like basic or the ba basicest. Basicest, if that's even the word. Olive Oil. Oh, Olive Oil. Okay, that's the name. Olive Oil. Eighteen seconds, boys. Nine. <laughs> up, up, up. That sounds like Monster Hunter music. Then I'm pretty sure they're gonna show some Monster Hunter Rise stuff as well. But sadly though, there's no Bandai Namco presentation. Apart from Harada speaking about a Netflix show. So the main games to look out for is SF6, RE4 Remake. And I don't know much of Capcom games. Maybe fight, uh, some other fighting games? Hello everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase, where we'll share exciting new updates on our upcoming games. Nice. We have some surprises in store, and hope you enjoy the show. My body is ready, let's go. Oh, I knew it. Let's <clears throat> begin. Hello, everyone. Emery Ozo Tsujimoto, producer of the Monster Hunter series. Shadow. Thank you for tuning in to today's Capcom Showcase. We're excited to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Mm. Which will finally be released I never, I never liked this game. I never liked uh, the Rise. I, I like World more. Rise was basically. Mm. Let's take a look. I mean, I did get it for the PS5. I mean, sorry, PS5 for the PC, and I just refunded it after like an hour or so. Immediately. Is this running? It is a delay. Okay. Hey, what's up, FPS? Welcome back. My ninja. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, dude, they should have, they shouldn't have made Monster Hunter for the Switch, like a Switch exclusive initially, and they should have just made it for the PC or the consoles itself, and then take it up as a port for PC, also for Switch. Giant, giant crab, squid, shellfish. That's sweet fire. That's sweet fire. Sweet fire's got some pincers, man. A <laughs> ball gun boss is where exactly. I'm hoping for RE4 Remake, um, some gameplay or something. They should show it, right? A little bit, maybe. Or at least an extended trailer. 
It's not gameplay. Who's this monster? Hey, is that Nurg? Nurg? No, that's not Nurg. <laughs> it's fast, but hey, listen, okay, don't judge. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And in this case, food. Hey, they they, get, they got rid of uh, spicy McChicken, man. The one time I wanted that. And they got rid of spicy McChicken. You know, that's, that's not there anymore. Ah. They, they came up with some sweet ass stuff, like, yeah, with more barbecue sauce. The mac chicken was pretty nice. The spicy mac chicken was pretty nice. First, let me introduce a returning locale. The jungle area that debuted in the second generation of Monster Hunter games is back in Sunbreak. Huh. You'll notice that the jungle's appearance changes over time. It's a nostalgic area that both veteran hunters and new players are sure to enjoy. And okay. of course, we've updated the jungle with new elements and endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Longtime fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins around Hey, by the way, is uh, Diablo Cap... No, is Diablo Capcom? I don't think it's Capcom, right? From Diablo 2, I mean. Or Diablo 4. Or just Diablo Espinos. in general. Espinas means thorns in Spanish. As the name implies, thorny scales cover its body. Shadow. No. Normally, Espinos Stop. enjoys a quiet life and sleeps peacefully, but when it senses <laughs> Exactly like me. This monster this monster in my spirit animal. Even though it can seem docile, Espinos has a two-faced nature that can be extremely dangerous. Leads a quiet life and sleeps peacefully? Seems like me, alright. The flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4, Gore Magala, is back. Gore Magala. Gore Magala is a sightless creature with black scales and sensitive wing membranes used to sense the presence Ew. of prey. Sounds disgusting. As Gore Whenever Magala I hear the word membrane, horns form I always think of it being like very state. soft and gushy. In a frenzy state. And then when you add sensitive to it, it's like, ugh. To break. What are you trying to say? Sensitive, wet, white, attacks. gushy stuff? Not, not specifically white. Not, not, not specifically white. Yellow and brownish. In addition, the trailer also shows the Daimyo Hermitar and the Pyrorotna Kadaki subspecies, which has uh. explosive elements, makes its fiery debut. Let's give an example, okay? Shut up. That have yet to be revealed, so stay tuned for more sunbreak announcements in the future. Oh, I was just giving an example. I didn't mean that. There's one more thing I want to share I want with to you all. White. So please watch the following video. The mysterious region returns. Oh, FPS, I got a new... I got... <laughs> talk with that. I got a new anime for you. It's called... Um, Your Boy Kong Ming. Watch it, it's really nice. It's about music and rap. Your Boy Kong Ming. Pretty sick. Like, very fun anime to watch. Slay Mozeno. Okay. Oh, they're putting out a demo as well. A free demo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is coming to both Nintendo Switch and Steam. The demo will be available to download as shown. In the jungle locale introduced today. Oh, the demo's in the jungle locale? Nice. The new switch skill swap system as well as new silk bind attacks will be available for play. We'll have a few tutorial quests available for new players. That oh, that's nice. They're they are introducing the new mechanics in terms of in demos in the demo as well. Oh, that's pretty generous. Ready to take on other monsters in the demo to test your skills. For veteran hunters, an advanced quest will also be available where you can take on an extra challenging version of Sunbreak's flagship monster, Malzino. Oh, this was the guy. Okay, that was for Sunbreak. Right? Multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Get an early taste of Sunbreak action with this free demo. June 14. Download it from the Nintendo eShop and Steam store page. Also, we would like for you to keep two things in mind when purchasing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So you will be able to enjoy all the added content. Mm. What? You need 13 GB of free space? That's weak. From the amount of games we downloaded on PS5. That's nothing. 
Imagine downloading like 45 gigs. Tekken is only 40. Te Tekken is more than 45 on PC. A number of free title updates. Please enjoy this quick video preview of what's on Ooh, the way. Ooh, sneak peeky. Sneaky peeks. In the episode four of the boys. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Episode one was disgusting. Ew. The fuck. I still have nightmares about that. I don't normally get grossed out by any any of that stuff. It's just that one episode where I feel like it was very extra. Scheduled for August 2022. We'll add Lucent Nargakuga. Nargakuga. This monster will be a part of the first free title update to come to Sunbreak post launch. Episode one was the horniest and most disgusting episode I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like, dude, okay, fine. You're gonna show it. You're gonna show that. Show it. That's, don't mind. But Jesus, man, come on. Our title update release schedule is as follows. The second title update is planned for a fall 2022 release. The third title update will come in winter 2022. Okay. And there's more to come in 2023. Ooh. Respecial subspecies monsters. Additional sir. monsters and other elements. We hope you'll check them out. Ah. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2000. Hmm, two days after my birthday. Everything is happening on my birthday. What's what? What the fuck is going on? Digital pre-orders for Sunbreak are now available to make a killing that Russian guy. Yeah, and Steam. that wasn't that wasn't uh, pre -orders will that, also that wasn't a big of a deal. Bonus, I've seen worse. And Palico layered I've seen worse. We're planning on keeping you updated with more information soon. Please visit the official website and follow Monster Hunter social channels for more info. That wraps up our news for Monster Hunter Rise. Sunbreak. No, not specifically that dude. Fuck this guy. No, I've seen worse in terms of other stuff being hacked and slashed. Now we will present the Capcom Spotlight Corner. What? Oh, Connor. Shh. Focus and watch this and stop being horny. Put you in horny jail. Street Fighter Six. Ooh. Coming soon. The next generation of Street Fighter is currently in development and has something I do me all the time. for everyone I mean. to enjoy. Fan favorites Ryu and Chun Li will be heating up the battle stage right alongside some of the newest fighters, Luke and Jamie. Luke is not new. Breathtaking new visuals. This is a Street Fighter Five. Jamie's new. All new battle system. I might try this game out to see how it feels like. If it feels smooth. I might just end up. I'm, I'm gonna be playing DNF Duel. Then this game is coming out. Then Georgia's game is coming out. Uh, that's on. In uh, that's coming in August or something. I think. So many fighting games coming out. The 35th anniversary of the Street Fighter franchise, the Capcom Fighting Collection will be released later this month. Included is the first ever release of Red Earth outside of arcades. Hyper Street Fighter 2. Hmm. Five Darkstalkers titles and more. Darkstalkers. I've never played this game. It looks really fun. The arcade era are included in one pack. Man, I feel like, uh, like I really All wanted to play more fighting games when when I was a kid. So play a match against your friends. I hope that I really missed out a lot of things. Enjoy a full range. Like it's just that I wasn't exposed to a lot of fighting games except for Tekken and that's it's all it's it's like mostly because my friend introduced it to me please visit the official website for more information play the games you loved again again arcade stadium has expanded Capcom arcade second stadium coming July 22nd 2022 what Saturday night slam masters Magic Sword, Black Tiger, Black Eagle Tiger, huh? I'll show you a Black Tiger. Combined for a total of 32 what? arcade titles. In addition to a bundle that features all 32 titles, each title is available for individual purchase and features, with lots of quality of life options. Sure, you can. All players will receive Sun Sun for free when downloading the base game. The bundle featuring I could just hear that. Even without him saying it, I could just hear it. Get display frame set one as a bonus for pre-order. Oh, Mega Man. To celebrate, 
So they're launching all like classic games on arcades or like one of arcades. The World Warrior. Free for a limited time. No, free to try out the Capcom Arcade Stadium as well. So is this like a thing that you buy in terms of subscriptions? Update on Capcom's new team-based action game, Exoprimal. Exoprimal. Hi everyone. Hello. Director of Exoprimal. These I. We have a new trailer to show today. That includes lots of Oh, this game. This game. The dinosaur game, right, right, right. Which was kind of supposed to be Dino Crisis in a way. I am the artificial intelligence, Leviathan. Blablabla. Your personnel data indicates you are a suitable specimen to join this could be an interesting game. Experiment. I forgot this existed. Under my supervision, IBS Corp conducts its most important research here. Welcome nice face. to Kitoa Island. You have been selected for a live combat test. Live? The first team to complete their assignment. Why why does it why why does the game oh. My archives encompass exhaustive records of human history? It's on ten eighty, it feels like I'm watching it on seven twenty or something. And lower than that. And institutional bias. Your species Weirdly is enough. susceptible to mass delusion. Fascinating. Humans dread the other. You seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. You so it's like yet fear revelation. It's like Destiny meets Dino Crisis meets. What's that other game? Ah. Uh, everyone come to me now. What's that other game that plays a mech? Ah. Uh, Warframe. In a way. What is variable shall become fixed. Fight and die for me. Carnage module online. Oh shit, what the f are those holy shit? I call your attention to the unstoppable raptor horde. Calculating chance of employee retention. Chance and it's my family. It's my, it's my entire family. Getting slaughtered. So avenge my, avenge my, avenge my family. War game. Does this game have a storyboard? I wonder. Ugh, what is that? A hybrid. Oh, next year. Come on. It's coming on. Wait, did, did it come out on Nintendo trailer. Switch? Now, I will get into more detail about the game. Okay. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Leviathan appears before players as a massive human-like figure or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. Okay. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs after being forced that's, to that's, I, I wonder how the war games. Why is how the PC FPS will hold up. World? And why is Leviathan repeating these war games? With all that stuff happening on the screen right now. By playing the main game mode. Even the consoles for that matter. There's gotta be like a, there's, there's ha there has to be like at least one or two frame drops for that. Or some frame drops at least. Based action game. In Dino Survival, two squads of five race to complete objectives. Teams must follow Leviathan's directives and complete the mission before their rivals to win. These directives okay. feature a dynamic mix of missions. In fact, we just saw some in the latest trailer. There's Dinosaur Cult, where teams must eliminate a specific dinosaur. In VTOL Defense, just teams protect a grounded aircraft. Flippin' did there? Did, didn't he? Consoles like PS, the PS4 and uh, the older console, they would have, ex they would explode. They would just take off. They would not just explode. They would just take off and then explode in orbit. Teams compete to collect the most energy. You also saw a glimpse of a strange and terrifying creature known as a Neo Tyrannosaurus. Neo Tyrannosaurus. Okay. While there are situations where you directly engage enemy players, 
there are other times where you band together with rivals to take down a major foe. This variety of missions will keep players on their toes. In okay. Dino Survival, the missions change based on players' progression through the game. The experience will be different every time you play, even in matches with familiar surroundings and objectives. Yeah, it looks like Warframe and um, Destiny mixed together. And also earn rewards, such as experience points, to increase your I feel like this game is going to give me a major headache if I play it. Just like Warframe. We'll provide more details about this at a Immediate headache of, from, from all that zipping around, especially with the camera shaking. Ugh. We showed two new exosuits today. Barrage is an assault roll exosuit. It uses explosives to set areas ablaze and bombards okay. enemies with Ghost Rider. Grenades. Vigilant is also an assault roll exosuit. Widowmaker. A lot of overwatch going on, o overwatch going on here. Hmm? We have even hmm? more exosuits to share with you in the future. So look forward to upcoming announcements. We have one last announcement for today. Only one more? Did he say we just have one more? Welcome to my research facility. We're conducting a close okay. network test for Exoprime. Get the shit out of me. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Close beta. I never get into one of these betas, man. Never, it's never my luck. Games, online infrastructure, and make improvements ahead of launch. It's bad. Sign up to participate today. Yeah, but what are the chances of you getting into the that beta? Test will allow you to experience Dino Survival before the game's launch next year. We look forward to having you join in. Okay. That's all for today. We plan to release Exoprimal. Don't say that. Just don't say that's all for today. Don't say. Just be specific on what you're saying that for. Keep an eye on our website. I just don't say that. Media. People are watching here, man. Jesus. Again, don't say that. What I mean, thank. Is it over? No, okay, it's only for that. Next, we have a message about Dragon's <gasps> Dogma, which recently celebrated its tenth anniversary. Is that a new? Is this a new Di Dragon's Dogma game? Yeah, the anime was sick. Hey, if they announce a new. Hi everyone, I'm Hideaki Atsuno, game director at Capcom. A few weeks ago, we Damn, here's, uh... the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this. This shirt looks nice. I want that. The world of Dragon's Dogma has since spread to various different. On that shirt. Media, a hoodie. Such as hoodie X shirt. And the Dark Arisen expansion. That looks nice. To digital comics and a Netflix original animated series. In the coming days. We will be releasing a video celebrating 10 years of Dragon's Dogma. Okay. About how and what Dragon's Dogma came to be. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, we'll have something for you to enjoy. That's very big, but okay. You check it out. Once again, thank you all. Where do I get the merch though? Big merch. And now we have a bunch of updates from the Resident Evil yes. franchise. I think Ari Village is going to get a DLC. Hello everyone, I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, the producer of Resident Evil Village. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over 6 million units worldwide. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see so many people enjoy the game. Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Mm. Let's start with this video. Mm. Me likey. Daddy like. Daddy like? Who says that? 16 years after he left. <gasps> it is a DLC. It's alright, Rose. It's alright. Hey. You have to finish that game, dude. Finish it, wait for Even Chris doesn't know what I can do. I want to live a normal life. Smack slips. 
Okay. Ooh. She's in a castle. He's back in the castle. What? This turned out to be supernatural really fast. going on oh, yes, that's okay. oh shit the duke has turned into an enemy what shadows of rose dude the duke is an enemy it's tough marking the target okay Chris redfield oh shit we can place him You can place her? Holy shit. Dude, that's sick. You can actually play as uh, uh, big mommy milkers? Yeah. Ethan returns in third person. <gasps> what the f Are you kidding me, dude? Holy shit, man. Dude, what the fuck? They actually. This is this is tough. What the fuck? I'm definitely replaying this again now. Hella, hella. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're happy to reveal Dude, the DLC for you, you completed it in third person mode. Last gym. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. Holy shit, bro! This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. The mercenaries returns with additional orders. Oh, that that really that that actually really made me happy. Dude. Holy shit! Give me a reason to play that again. Defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included. Give me a proper reason to play it again. Well, apart from the DLC though. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there. Dimitrescu. We've really fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. <laughs> Did you throw a chair at that enemy? <laughs> the third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, oh, let me introduce oh, just a bit of this story. That's hot. It's actually hot. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the Wait. terrifying powers. Wait, sequel to the main story to of the Village. The curse of her powers, <laughs> okay, yeah, the that's basically the scene. Megamycete. Megamycete. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third person perspective. Nice. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself oh, those things are back. seems to be attacking you. Enjoy the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. So it's in her mind, will basically. Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? The DLC for Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. How are you, dude? Addition, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition, a bundle of Winter's Expansion. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Will be released simultaneously. The release date is planned for October 28th, 2022. Resident Evil RE Burst. So technically in November then. On the same date, October 28th, 2022. Speedrunners are going to have a field day with this game now. Yeah, it's actually a good chunky content. You like that? Give me more. Also, as already announced, we are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac, so that even more on Mac? can enjoy Resident Evil. Yo. In addition, the that's main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation. On Mac, dude! Holy shit! 
We're working hard. On Apple uses ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to is it dual wielding? I noticed that in, in the VR that he's dual wielding. A game that was announced just a few days ago. That's an additional content, yeah. It's like a multiplayer. <sighs> yes. 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 Give me, make me more happy. Me likey. Lowen is back. Mongos. That looked like me milking a cow or something. I don't know what this was. This was this was that uh, Italian. Uh, sorry, is that? Sorry, my bad. Oops, you're right. Shadow, move. That uh, Italian thing. The I don't know what it's called. The two hours? I don't know. What's it called? That, that looks more. <laughs> What does this mean? This means nothing. Guess you, me. Big Durang is about to vacation, eh? Shadow, can you please I do, enjoy something here? Dog wants attention 24 by 7. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Damn, that's a close-up. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. Yo, let's go. Hey, Leon doesn't look that to. young. Leon looks alright, man. Come on. Is everyone going? Bingo. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasuhiro Anfo, oh, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Producer of Resident Evil 4. Why did they have the exceptionally long years, man? Of Resident Evil 4, based exceptionally on the long years. Release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Damn. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. <sighs> Resident Evil 4 ah. is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Six years after. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon Lowen City. Lowen S. Kennedy. was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. He looks Leon like a, he looks like a, a um, Japanese a protagonist, anime protagonist. Of the president. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main the Ganado. Of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring three out the concept of terror of very action by madness, the Ganado very short, has been completely rushed. redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. Let's go. The over the shoulder Holy shit. Turns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. My god, dude, this is giving me goosebumps. There will also be thrilling battles. Yeah, we all. that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements. Wait, that's it? More information on the game. Resident wait, wait. Is Where are the enemies? Let's call. Ah, oh, but I guess X, it's Series better than S, nothing, right? And PC. The release date will be March twenty fourth, twenty twenty three. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil four that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. Thank you.
thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ, more. No more? Okay. Pushed it. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? That made me, that made me thirsty. Both games are currently in development. That made me thirsty, holy shit. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. Following games? World premiere. Oh, wait, what? What are you doing, Captain? Ah. Bundle pack, I'm guessing. It gets creepy. I've seen way too much of this game being speedrun. If I play this game now, I'd know exactly where to go and what to get. This game didn't have a soundtrack, did it? It didn't. Like, an actual vocal soundtrack. You didn't give a crap about this game. I can tell. I feel like they just wanted to get this game over and done with really fast. Oh, they're coming for the new gen, like gen, new gen consoles. Okay. Resident Evil 7, which brought the series back to its survival horror roots, and the reimagining of classic titles Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. These three titles built with RE engine were exactly right with current gen features including and, and I feel like they've they you know, released that really fast and ray tracing why well, after a year after RE2 was released audio for an even more like they released it immediately These something like that are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series X beginning today and how long did it take to In release addition, RE4? PlayStation long time. Like years, man. Enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen like if they took the, that amount of time to release RE4, then you better believe that game is going to be amazing. Users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoyed the immersion these new versions offer. Welcome to the family. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the family. That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. Welcome. Just don't say that on a panel. I feel like it's going to end the Capcom stuff. That wraps up today's oh, is it done? Oh, shit. We it was actually done. They did keep it uh, at last. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. I mean, it was great. The showcase was great. It was short, simple, and it was amazing. Can't wait to try out RE Village uh, with that mod or that perspective. And RE4. Street Fighter 6, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Who knows? But that being said, thanks for stopping by FPS. And I'll see you to I'll see you I'll see you uh tomorrow. Great, peace.